Well, praise the Lord Most High. Bless be He. Father, help us to kick the habits and uh, grow in uh, grow in You in Jesus' name. Habits. All through history, there are uh, many people who finally get uh, to the point uh, in their lives where they want to change uh, because of the addiction of drugs and other devices uh, such as sex uh, that may uh, be one of the hardest uh, to break. Or even some of the angels uh, in heaven uh, fell, uh, fell, uh, fell, in the, fell in their end uh, in lust. There is lust of eyes, uh, even homosexuality for uh, whatever reason. For women, it could be uh, because they were raped uh, and uh, and found uh, comfort in their girlfriend uh, or other accident or anything, and became addicted to the comfort of another woman. For men, uh, could be something like uh, that also, or even demon possession. I haven't counseled many uh, of them, but uh, have seen the results. Regardless what uh, it is, uh, even the smaller things like uh, cussing or smoking, Satan has devices uh, that devise many traps uh, for us to overcome. In Hebrews 5, 2, who can be, uh, uh, who can be compassed on, on the ignorant, who can be compassionate on the ignorant, and on them uh, that uh, are, are out of the way, for that he uh, himself also is compassed with the infirmity. This is why when, uh, when those are, are, are going through uh, things such as these, God sends uh, someone who has gone through those types of things uh, to counsel them. Because they, are, uh, they have the deeper understanding, knowledge, and com uh, compassion to help them. In Hebrews 7.28, uh, for the law makes men uh, high priests, with, uh, with, which have infirmities, but the word of, uh, uh, of the oath, which uh, was since the law, uh, makes, uh, makes the son who is uh, consecrated forevermore. In Hebrews uh, 4.15, uh, For we have not uh, an high priest that cannot uh, be touched with the feelings of our infirmities but uh, was in all parts tempted uh, uh, like as uh, we are, yet without sin. That would be Jesus. So we see that uh, Jesus himself was tempted in all things, yet he uh, alone uh, came out uh, spotless. In Second Corinthians 12, 9, And he said unto them, he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, uh, for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather uh, glory in my infirmities than the, uh, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Now, when we have weakness, uh, we feel weak. Uh, we we feel weak in Christ. Let not the guilt of uh, com uh, be uh, complete. Compl let not your guilt be complacent and strive towards the mark of the high calling of God. Uh, but remember God's grace, uh, for he has, uh, he has you covered uh, with, uh, with his grace, and he understands your shortcomings. This does not uh, diminish uh, your status with him. But he uses uh, those infirmities to make you stronger in him and able to help those who are going through uh, similar trials and temptations. This is why also uh, uh, why you should not judge others for their shortcomings. Uh, we really have no idea what they are going are, are tormented with, and it is a torment. Or how we uh, would respond uh, to those things or troubles uh, in our own lives. Now, God forbid that we continue in those uh, lusts of the flesh and uh, those which uh, Satan himself effects uh, with us. Do not let the, the uh, devil make you think uh, you are weak in the faith because you have, uh, because you have shortcomings. For God gave you uh, the power uh, to, 
tread on serpents, and he knew uh, you you before you were. And likewise, you will find uh, when you uh, when you go boldly to the throne of God with uh, any request, he will look at uh, you blameless, seeing you were washed in the blood, in his blood, and granted and grant your request. Therefore, ask and doubt not in your heart, and it will, it, and you will have what you ask for. If you were not, uh, if it were not so, he would, uh, he would have told you. Have grace, uh, uh, his grace is sufficient for you, uh, giving you uh, a space to overcome short, your shortcomings. Father, uh, we come to you now, uh, for the young in faith, that they not be beaten. Uh, by the lack of understanding of your words, that they understand what grace is. For you give, uh, you give them uh, space to repent of their, of their ways. Now you need to do that, because if you continue in it, and you know it's sin, uh, he will correct you. Uh, that they uh, not be beaten down by weakness, but uh, learn to overcome all things. That they need uh, not be ashamed to uh, to be bold, uh, come boldly to the throne of God and ask a Father, receiving their requests. Uh, for your grace is uh, surely enough to see uh, us all through. To the to the calling away of the saints in Jesus' name, let us come boldly now uh, to the throne uh, with all expectations in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we come to you now for every need and for every heart and every just everyone that will come to you now, Lord, whether they come for you that for the first time or, or whatever. We just uh, we, we agree in prayer with them right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Now remember, Jesus loves you, and I certainly love you. You stay blessed. In Jesus' holy name, let's be